Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Cody here. Today we're gonna to be doing another ranking video. I've been doing a few of these over the last week or so. Been getting a lot of positive feedback. I really appreciate your support on this. Uh, <laughs> they've been a lot of fun to make. And today we've got another collegiate bat league. Uh, this time it is the Appalachian League in the Appalachian region of the US. So we're talking about Tennessee, West Virginia, Virginia. And I gotta say, this is probably one of the coolest leagues that I've come across. The history, behind this league is super, super cool. If you want a full detailed description on not just the league itself, but the context about the area in which the league resides, check out this great video that I found. It's a guy by the name of M-I-L-B Hat Billy. I will link the specific video that he made about the Appalachian League. It's on his channel. Check the description box. I would honestly maybe recommend watching that before you watch this, if you're at all interested in the history and the context behind the Appalachian League. As it currently stands, the Appalachian League is a Major League Baseball and USA Baseball prospect development pipeline league, which is a huge mouthful from what I understand. The context is such that Major League Baseball partnered with USA Baseball. USA Baseball is the governing body behind uh, the official USA Baseball team, like for the Olympics kind of thing. So it used to be up until 2020, 2021, when there was a big uh, rearrangement in minor league baseball, it was a rookie league, and the 10 teams in this league all had their names relevant to the specific team that they represented. So for example, Bristol was home to the Bristol Pirates, Johnson City was the Johnson City Cardinals, Greenville was the Greenville Reds, etc., etc. Normally I don't like that kind of thing when the club just has a direct name to the parent team. It just seems a little uninspired and I'm usually not a big fan of that. I think that that's actually kind of cool that all 10 teams had the same name as their parent club. When all of them do it, it's fine. When just a few of them do it, it looks tacky. Anyway, definitely do go watch that video. MILB Hat Billy, amazing video. Guy truly cares about not just the Appalachian League itself, but just that area of the country. Also loves baseball, also loves minor league baseball. Really great guy, awesome channel. I was like blown away when I was watching his stuff. As it is though guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. There are, like I said, 10 teams in this league. We're gonna go ahead and get started right off the bat, no pun intended, and that is the Pulaski River Turtles. If this is what I consider to be the lowest logo in this league, we're in for a great video because this is still a fun logo. My thing is it just looks already a little old and dated. A lot of these teams we're gonna see have very fresh, hot, sexy takes on a logo because they all did rebrand in 2021, and this, already feel so much older than that. This looks like something out of the 80s. We're seeing a lot of green, white, and black. There's a tiny bit of yellow there, and I think that that's what my eye goes to almost immediately. And it's the most uninteresting part of the logo. You know, his face is a little cartoonish. The P for Pulaski on his hat is in green, whereas the rest of the text is in white. That's a little tiny thing that kind of annoys me. He just looks a little too cartoony, but he still looks goofy and fun. There's movement, there's action. He looks like he's having a good time. Not my favorite logo by a long shot. Also not the worst. Next up, we've got the Bristol State Liners. Uh, Bristol is a city that borders Virginia and Tennessee, so hence the State Liners moniker. These colors look very, very nice. I, I do like that cream that's going on. I do like that the, the text kind of goes outside of that round baseball element. That looks really nice. It's fine, it's totally inoffensive, perfectly harmless. There are much more fun logos ahead. I will say these colors look very nice. I like the font, it's simple, it's effective. We know this is a baseball team because it's got a big old baseball behind it. Totally fine, no, it's totally fine. Next up, we've got the Danville Otterbots. This to me feels like the most polarizing logo in this league. There's a lot of social media buzz about this name. We see a lot of this with rebrands and with minor league baseball and with collegiate baseball in general. There are weird names, and we're gonna see some weird ones coming up in this video as well. My thing is, like, you can have a weird name, that's totally fine. Just have a good logo, and I think that's where this struggles. We've got two different elements going on. You know, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be looking at the Otterbot, or if I'm supposed to be looking at the text that says Otterbot with Danville kind of lazily thrown down there at the bottom. I really wish that the logo itself was maybe just the Otterbot, or if there was some sort of interaction with the Otterbot <laughs> and the text Otterbot. I love the colors. He's extremely, extremely detailed. This would be extremely difficult to draw. He's got a lot of features and a lot of 
texture and a lot of different things going on with him. I'm totally cool with having like a weird, unusual name. I think this is a really fun name. I just think that the logo is pretty underwhelming. Next up, we've got the Elizabethton, Elizabethton? Elizabethton? Elizabethtown? River Riders. You'll have to forgive me because I'm not sure the exact pronunciation on the city name. I believe it's Elizabethton. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but we've got the River Riders. And this one, I, I like quite a bit. I think those colors work really nicely. That blue, white, yellow really, really pop. I think it's just really fun overall. This is a league of really great logos, so this is really difficult to put these in order. I feel confident with this one at a solid seven. I still do really like this. That bat as a fish hook is really fun. I think that the font looks really, really nice. This is a totally fine logo. There are better ones ahead though. Sorry to do you dirty, Elizabethton. I can't even pronounce your name. Maybe that's what's bringing it down to number seven is because <laughs> the name feels like a mouthful. So maybe that's why I'm ranking it this low. Okay, next up we've got the Bluefield Ridge Runners. These colors are great. This logo really pops. It looks really nice. Uh, we've got this front facing train who looks really evil. I get. Charlie the Choo Choo vibes for all my Stephen King Dark Tower fans out there. He looks angry and kind of evil. I'm into that. The one thing that kind of takes away from me is the smokestack. Doesn't, I know that that's smoke coming out of it, but it's kind of difficult to tell. It almost looks like an elephant. It doesn't have a lot of like layering going on to really demonstrate or let you know that that is a smokestack. You just kind of have to believe it. But I really like this. Again, those colors are fantastic. Moving on, we've got the Johnson City Doughboys. This one I had to look up because again, there's some unusual names here in this league. A, a doughboy was apparently a nickname for soldiers uh, fighting in World War I, which translates to the fact that we've got a you know, he's got his helmet as a soldier there in the middle. I really like this. I don't see these colors very often at all. They're definitely kind of a military vibe. Uh, this reminds me of the West Point logo uh, for Army. Even the font is very kind of very military looking. I'm really into this. This this looks great. I love that the soldier is kind of silhouetted. I think in this case, less is more where he doesn't have a ton of detail going on. It's just kind of the silhouette. Um, maybe the only thing that brings it down for me is that Johnson City before this league rebranded. The Johnson City Cardinals were my favorite logo in this league. So it does bum me out a little bit to see this rebrand. I think this looks great. Maybe that could be the only thing that's bringing it down. It's just, I'm a nostalgia guy. And I really liked the logo on the Johnson City Cardinals. Moving in at number four, we've got the Kingsport Axemen. This is exclusively a text-based logo and I like it. I think it looks fantastic. I like that this team has kept their Original colors because blue and orange always look good together and this team was a Mets affiliate. That axe definitely has some movement. I like that the axe logo kind of finishes that X in X-Men. I think that's a nice touch. I do like that Kingsport and Axemen, both those words match text. I've seen that a number of times where it's, you've got the team name in one text or in one font, I should say, and then you've got the location in a different font. I like that this matches together really nicely. Overall, this is really nice. Coming in at number three, we've got the Greenville Flyboys. This one is really cool. I, for me personally, any aviation themed logos already just get like a, a big up. So maybe a little bias there, but I really like aviation themed names. I like the star and the circle in the background. The three stars on the bottom are a really great touch because this team is in Tennessee and that three star Dragon Ball looking thing is like the Tennessee symbol. And I like that that's kind of a nice kind of call to the fact that like, okay, here's a team in Tennessee. Let's include those three stars. Red, white, blue always look great together. And these are great variations of those three colors. Very nice. This is so clean. This is well done. Coming in at number two, got the Princeton, Princeton Whistle Pigs. Again, weird name. Uh, Whistle Pig is apparently just another name for a gopher. I like this one so much that gopher, he's like somehow both cute and intimidating. I think that that might be his, his claws that add to that intimidation factor. He's textured and shaded and drawn really, really nicely. He really kind of pops out. I really like the, that Whistle Pig's font is great. And it, to me, looks like a license plate. And I'm a big license plate guy. It's a random thing, but it just adds to the appeal for this. This kind of looks like a vintage sort of camping, almost like a Smokey the Bear sort of sort of logo. And I like that. I, I love those colors. You know, that brown, yellow, and white looks really nice together. I really like this. Again, an example of a weird name, but as long as you have a good logo to complement it, it works. But the best example of a weird name with a great logo has to be for our number one spot, the Burlington Sock Puppets. Insane name, absolutely ridiculous. Um, <laughs> you've got 
two socks, right? And they're just kind of hanging out on one end of the logo. They're coming through the text, so it adds this sort of interaction where they're, they're coming up and it adds this, this layered interaction there. I really like that. The one on the left looks all, looks all cool and edgy and the one on the right looks like a total doofus and I'm into that. I love that the one on the right is a stirrup. That's a really cool kind of throwback to like old school vintage baseball. Always a nice touch. Within the actual font, there's like little stitching going on to kind of wrap everything up nicely. This is phenomenal. This is a weird name, but a great logo. It's just fun. It's so balanced. Sock on either side. This, like the, what is it, Otter Pops? I've already forgotten. Otter Bots, Otter Pops. Who else grew up rural and knows about Otter Pops? Leave a thumbs up if, if, if you know what I'm talking about. This like the Otter Bots, has a lot of social media buzz because it's just a weird name and it's super unique, obviously. The difference is this logo is actually good. Burlington Sock Puppets. Fantastic. Well guys, it's gonna do it for another ranking video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I got more on the way. This is one of the more fun ones to do because these are all brand new logos. This is a complete rebrand from a couple years ago. Go ahead and give this a like, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, let me know what your favorite logo was, and we'll see you in the next video.